fellow St. Lucians, residents from the Babono constituency, as we prepare to celebrate another Christmas and wait to usher in another New Year 2018, let us first thank the Almighty for giving us life. Let us thank Him for protecting and guiding us throughout 2017. Let us give praise for our numerous accomplishments during the year and the many challenges we were able to overcome. We thank Him for keeping us safe during the hurricane season. Christmas is another opportunity for sharing and extending love and best wishes to everyone. Therefore, I would like to encourage each and every one to take some time to share with the less fortunate in our community. Take time to encourage and support each other. During 2017, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning and Natural Resources and Cooperatives spent time planning and setting the foundation that will allow for further development in these sectors. While we can boast that we were able to increase production level in agriculture, increase the level of employment in the sector directly, contributing to improve economic and social well-being of the rural communities by increasing income earning by farmers and farm workers, there is still much we have to do, especially if we are to reduce our food import bill. There is need to increase export to our traditional market and explore potential new market opportunities. Therefore, in 2018, we shall see the operationalization of a new marketing entity with the focus on providing critical support needed to increase production of targeted crops, and more importantly, provide the marketing intelligence infrastructure and arrangements for the sale of these crops locally, regionally, and internationally. The new entity will also provide insurance, a pension scheme, and incentive to all farmers and fisher folks who wish to become shareholders of this entity. The Ministry is in the process of finalizing and designing the costings of the major agricultural roads with the view to commence rehabilitation in the new financial year. We shall continue to support farmers in the banana subsector and with the help of friendly government introduce new technology in the fisheries subsector and other subsectors in agriculture. I would like to take this opportunity to wish my people of Babono best wishes, good health, and every success in 2018. Let me express my sincere appreciation for their continued prayers and support. I can assure you that in 2018, we shall see the completion of the many outstanding projects in the constituency. For example, the Balata Plain Field, the Timon Multipurpose Court, the Garant Plain Field, the resurfacing of the Balata Multipurpose Court, and of course, the official open of the new fire station. As I have promised, we shall see the resurfacing and lighting of the Fuaso playing field, the operationalization of the Fuaso agro-processing facility as a private-public partnership agreement, the expansion and improvement of the Garan Cemetery, and I shall continue to engage the Ministry of Education in trying to get the resources to construct the new school for Lage. These are some of my many primary focus for 2018, and I ask for your continued support. In closing, allow me to thank all those who have supported me during 2017. The government and people of the Republic of China, Taiwan, the government of Mexico, Cuba, and Morocco, the following organizations, Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ICA, Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, CARI, and the European Union. Also, I'd like to thank the staff of all my departments for the help and support during 2017. I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a bright and prosperous 2018. I thank you very much. <laughs>